Hey there, it's Chris Fifo, your Darwin Perennials product representative, and today we're going to be propagating one of our new sun ferns, Artemisia our, uh, Olympia, is the one we're doing today. We got our box of Darwin Perennials cuttings in this morning at 10:30. It's good to know what time your UPS driver shows up and what day these cuttings are coming, so you know to be looking for them when they do arrive. As I open this box, we want to understand these came from Columbia. They've been bouncing on a plane for a few days. We want to check our temperature. 48 degrees, good temperature. If this was up above 70, I would have some concerns about it. And so as we unpack, we see neatly packaged cuttings here. And here is our bag of Artemisia Olympia. As I open this, I want to be aware of the moisture inside the bag. We include paper inside the bag to absorb extra moisture. Artemisias can tend to be sensitive to extra moisture in shipping, and so we try to get them nice and dried out. Inside the paper here, we've got neatly organized cuttings. I want to inspect these. Artemisias, like I said, they can tend to get too wet and they can get those black bacterial spots on them. And so as I look at these, I don't see any spotting on here. I don't see any leaf distortion. I don't see any yellowing of leaves. This is a really good spec and these should propagate really nicely. As we prepare to stick our Artemisias, preparation is key. I've got my loose fill media ready here. I prefer a slightly higher pH with Artemisias, around 6.2. Too low can cause some issues in propagation and production. I do prefer three products that we can use on our cuttings. The first, we have our traditional powder rooting hormones. We can dip each cutting individually into a powder, tap off a little extra, and then stick the cuttings. But what some growers are going to for ease is the Hortus Chiabia salts. These can be mixed up in a bucket or in hand sprayer and applied after we stick the cuttings. The key to that though is make sure we have enough volume. Four gallons per hundred square feet. We've got to remember the end of that cutting is still our target for that rooting hormone. And then within 24 to 48 hours after sticking, I like to apply pageant fungicide. It helps release the stress from the cuttings. So as we stick these, we want to be aware that we don't want to stick them too deep. We just want them high enough that they're going to, they're going to stand up straight, but they're not going to uh, be stuck so deep that our lower leaves are going to rot off in the media. Here's our sun ferns after two weeks in propagation. After I stuck the cuttings, we brought them out to a prop house with bottom heat, and the cuttings were a little bit wilty initially, so we put them under a medium mist schedule for 36 hours. After that, we drastically reduced our mist down to the point where we're just keeping the cuttings turgid. If we have too much water on leaves, the cuttings are gonna turn black and we're gonna have heavy losses. Another key point about that is we don't want any fertilizer in the mist. Artemisias do not like fertilizer in the mist. And after a certain point, we can actually drastically reduce the mist to where our meat is going to start drying out slightly. That's where I really like the Artemisias. If we see reduced rooting, here's two weeks, we've got great roots. If we don't see this kind of rooting after two weeks, we know that our media is probably too wet and we really need to drop that off a little bit. Another key point about Artemisias, I like CalMag type fertilizers on these, something like a 13-213 for nice toned growth. And before transplant, I do like to get a single soft pinch on these. It's going to increase our branching and give us a really nice finished product. <music> 